Another new feature in PHP 5.3 is lambdas and closures, which you might be familiar with if you do any C-sharp programming or closures also in JavaScript. And let me show you an example of these with array filter. So let's say you have a number of scores that you want to filter out. For instance, get all of the scores above 90, for instance. So let's put in a bunch of scores here in our array. Students have got different scores on their test, and they're all in an array here. And now we want to get out all of the scores that are 90 or above. Since scores 90 or above are an A, we'll call them A scores. And we say array filter scores, and then put in a function. Function s and define our function right here. Return, and now I use the variable that I'm passing in, s is greater or equal to 90. Now that's the end of the line there, the end of the function here, and this is the end of defining a scores here. Now, as you see, also as with namespace syntax, Eclipse PDT hasn't gotten up to speed with PHP 5.3 syntax, and so it shows an error, but it is indeed not an error. And I'll show you that here. If we go through the A scores, as a score with a for each loop, and echo that out, A score, put in a HTML break. So let's take a look at that, save it, go to the browser, and we see that it has pulled out all of the scores that are 90 or above. Now, if we are going to be using this function a number of times, we can define it in a variable. We'll just take the whole thing out here, like this. We'll call it a score filter, for instance. Go up here and say a score filter equals, and then the, the whole function like that. And that will also work, as we see here, F5, refresh. To show you that that's actually working, we'll change this to 80, for instance, and refresh, and we get different scores. So, change that back to 90. Now, we can also give it one more level of flexibility in that we use a closure. Or let me show you how you can do that. Let's define a variable called greater than score filter. So we'll be able to send in any any score, not just one particular score. And we'll call that function, and we'll send in the lowest score. And we will return function s for score, use lowest score, maybe 80, maybe 70, maybe 90, for instance. Now, the function is going to be return the score is greater than or equal to lowest score. We have to remember the semicolons two times there at the end. So we don't need this one anymore. We still have our scores here, and we don't have a score filter, but greater than score filter. And we can send it now a variable. So let's say 70, and run this, F5. Error on line six, what could that be? Here we forgot to make all of these variables the, the same here. Lowest score, lowest score, lowest score with a capital S. So we'll run it again, F5. Still an error, what could that be? Ah, we forgot to put the ending semicolon here because this block of three lines is actually one line. Here is the operator and we're saying greater than score filter, function, the whole function, and then it's the end of the line. So now we'll go back to the browser, refresh, and we see that we get all of the scores that are above 70. Let's put in a score that's in 70, so we actually see that that works, F5, and 77 is also in there. So those are the basics of using lambdas and 
closures in PHP 5.3. There's a lot more to them. You can do a lot more with them. So if you're a C Sharp programmer or JavaScript programmer who uses lambdas and closures quite a bit, go ahead and look into them in PHP 5.3, and you should be able to transfer your style of programming into PHP 5.3 now.